What's up guys, my name is Jared Cariel, a 7 figure market agency and welcome to my crib, aka the Slack channel. Come on inside. So before I give you guys a complete tour of our entire 7 figure company Slack channel, this is something that no one on YouTube or on the internet has ever done before. I need everyone to understand this one thing. You're never going to be able to build a 6 or 7 figure agency if you don't know what one looks like. So Matt and I, we run our company completely remote. Everything is done virtually, we're not in person. That means our entire company is run off of Slack and most agencies are ran that way. Problem is, most online businesses and marketing agencies are doing it completely wrong. And I'm convinced by the end of this video, you're gonna have a totally different setup for your company's Slack channel or, or Discord, whatever you may use. Now, before I give you guys the grand tour of our seven figure agency Slack, I wanna share this the only difference between a mob and a trade army is organization. So when your online business or your marketing agency is going to battle to scale to that six and seven figure mark, you kind of want a trade army and that requires organization. So let's actually go ahead and dive in and break down how our Slack channel is completely organized so that you can copy the structure and scale your business to all new lights. So before we dive in, let's break down the actual structure of our agency. So we have two different divisions for our agency and that's pretty much a niche, right? So we have our real estate division and that services our real estate clients that are real estate agents. And then we have our mortgage division. So we just opened up this division and we're opening up some more divisions. We're really excited because our goal is to become the Berkshire Hathaway of agencies. So we have one Slack channel, but then we have two different divisions, AKA agencies and what? So we have one specifically for mortgage, one specifically for real estate agents. And then on top of that, we have HQ. So I'm going to break down all of those different sections in Slack for you. So let's go ahead and dive in. So first and foremost, this is probably one of my favorite places. This is the team chat. This is kind of where we can just, you know, talk as a team. Any crazy announcements that we may have, we'll post in here. And we always like to joke around. So I'll show you guys a few examples. For the end of the year, we're doing a uh, employee of the year. So we have employee of the year. We let the team kind of nominate people. So everyone's going to vote. Uh, they nominate and then we give them some prizes right so then we have uh you know we'll just post some funny stuff in here so we found one of these th this picture online from our tech guy uh with him and his nice bmw uh chilling in egypt so we'll, we'll all kind of joke around and stuff we'll do any crazy announcements all of this stuff happens in slack so this is our team channel uh as you can see we have 24 people on the team right now we're always growing so if you're looking at joining our seven figure agency make sure you Drop a comment below, I'll send you over the application and you can actually apply to be a part of our team and come work with us. Um, so a lot of cool things happen in here. On top of that, we have like little bookmarks. A lot of people don't leverage these bookmarks a lot in Slack. So we have these bookmarks for the entire team. So we can see the system health chat uh, tracker. So we can make sure, right, with any of our automations, all of our systems, the team can pretty much see if everything is working uh, the way it needs to. And then if there is anything that's broken, we can essentially see, you know, how often it breaks. And right now, as you can see, all systems are operational. So this is really good uh, to make sure that our clients are successful, just to make sure that our automations aren't breaking down. We have hundreds of thousands of make automations going out every single month. And we have a lot of code built into a lot of things that we do at our agency to be as efficient as possible. So we have to make sure that everything is functioning in the right way. So this is kind of like the foyer of our office if we were in person, right? This is like the open area where everyone kind of just hangs out. Then we have super valuable content. So anytime, right, we see something on YouTube or a team member sees something on Instagram, whatever that may be, that can help the entire team. They'll drop a link in the super valuable content channel um, just to help everyone level up because we always want to be growing and we want to create that culture and that atmosphere where people are constantly leveling up and that requires education. So we're constantly sending each other valuable stuff in this channel. Then this is where the money's made. We got ring the bell in here. So whenever a deal comes in, we get a new ring the bells. It's uh, a new GIF. And uh, this was actually funny because this guy's from uh, London. So he's from the UK. So we'll be like, King Richard struck again. And there you go. There's like a GIF with him in the crowd. Um, so anytime we get a deal, we celebrate all of our closers, all of our setters in this channel. And uh, this is always a fun message to get. So this is our ops channel. This is a channel specifically for our ops team, our tech 
guy, our wizard, everyone from operations that's, that's basically helping the company run smoothly. So anything that we may need uh, between all the different departments, it's gonna get communicated in this channel. Now, this is one of my favorite channels. This is marketing ideas. So anytime one of our team members will see kind of like a marketing idea that they'll see on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, that we can actually do for our own agency, we'll post it in the year, right? I think it was Picasso who said, good artists create great artists steal. So we're constantly looking at other people's marketing from all different industries, right? Not just agency stuff. And we're all sharing ideas of what we can do in this channel to actually be on the forefront. And if you've seen any of our agency ads, you know that we take this stuff very seriously. And this is one of the things that really help us out is by having this marketing idea and letting the entire team kind of feel like they have some ownership over how we're representing our company on the internet. Next is our leadership channel. So this is where all department managers are gonna meet, right? Our media buy manager, our head of fulfillment's in here. Uh, Matt is in here, my business partner. Our head of client success is in here. And then also our sales manager is in here. So this is the channel where we can all be in alignment, share any important information. This is where our main recruitment company that we work with is actually integrated with our Slack. We're always hiring, we're always recruiting. So we need direct access to them so we can share feedback about interviews when we need a new candidate, whatever that may be. This is where we're gonna post it because at the end of the day, great agencies are always acquiring new clients. Now moving on, this is kind of like our gym. This is like our virtual gym. So depending on the month, we'll do competitions with our team and like a challenge, whoever posts the most health wins, we'll get like a gift card or a free gym membership. So we have our team just posting health wins. They're constantly working out because at the end of the day, we're a virtual company. We're sitting down on our computers. We want our team to be extremely healthy because when they feel good, they perform way, way better. So we want everyone to treat their body like a temple. So we have our health wins channel. Then we're gonna move on to finances. So we're gonna have to blur this stuff out. But so this is where our finance team basically communicates in slack so we can pretty much go over our revenue profit numbers our cash reserves everything that we need to know from a financial standpoint in our agency is going to occur here and this is what basically our reports look like now obviously you have to blur out our numbers and if you actually want to break down our seven figure agency's p l and you want me to make a video about that have a comment down below and maybe i'll make a separate video about all of our numbers then we have our internal marketing channel and this is where our pipeline efficiency manager will communicate with marketing on when certain closers are going to be on vacation so we can lower spend adjust spend for things like that this is where we'll do a marketing report and we can see our total inbound appointments our total outbound appointments this is where we communicate for all of our b2b marketing right this is our marketing to attract more clients for our agency so we'll post all of our new creatives in here we'll communicate with marketing we'll tell them if there's an appointment deficit and an appointment surplus and make sure that our spend is where it needs to be. And this is probably one of the channels I spend most of my time in because I'm so focused on acquisition. Next is employee of the month. So this is where we will drop the new employee of the month, the new employee of the month every single month and they actually get to spin a wheel. Let me see if I can actually find the wheel for you. So they spin a wheel and based off what they spin, they'll actually get a surprise. So let me see if I can, I don't know if this is gonna work. So yeah, they spin this wheel and they can like get a Tesla for a day. We'll rent them a Tesla. We'll send a, a cleaning company to their house to clean their home. They'll get a private chef, right? They just like if someone with a they'll get a private chef, they'll get they'll get dinner for two, whatever they win, they just spin the wheel and this is uh, kind of just a fun thing we do for our team. If we had like an actual office and obviously there would be like an actual will, but since everything's virtual, this is kind of how we have to do it. Then we have our core values channel and this is where we do core values shout out for the team. And anytime someone on the team feels like they've exemplified and they go and they and they went above and beyond on um, demonstrating one of our core values, we'll actually shout out that person in the Slack channel. On top of the core values, we have our company vision, mission, uh, all in here. And then the core values, it's all pinned so people can see customer chair, rise to raise all ship be the CEO of your roles. This is our company vision, mission, and core value. So everyone on the team always knows what they are. We're constantly reminding everyone so that people are abiding by the culture and the expectations that we set and everyone knows where we're heading. Next is client dub. So this is where we'll post client wins. I don't know another agency that gets as many client wins as we do. So we'll post client wins. This is how we keep the team extremely motivated, right? Especially the sales team. This is so important because when they're constantly seeing wins, 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 then they're gonna be way more motivated to close 
videos because they know that we're actually helping people. Now, once again, we're big on our team. So we're constantly recruiting. This is where anyone who applies for our company will go. And there's gonna be applications sent in here. And this is where all of the managers are gonna review the applications and decide whether or not we're gonna move them forward with an interview or if we're probably gonna deny them based off the application that they sent in. So, and this is just our DocuSign channel. So whenever a DocuSign gets signed, it goes in here so that the sales team knows that one of the prospects that they just closed actually signed their agreement. And this way we don't have to give everyone access to DocuSign, which could be a security issue because credit card information, all that stuff is stored in DocuSign. So this is a way for the sales team to know that the person actually signed without having to give everyone access to all of our different softwares. Next is tech requests. So we actually have a full-time IT person for our agency. So this is one of the cool things about us. We have like an actual full-time IT person. We call him a wizard in our agency, constantly working to make sure that we're automating things and anything that breaks from a tech side, it can actually be fixed. So this is where the form gets filled out. This ticket gets tracked. It goes to monday.com. And this is where we can track and see if there's a ticket that's overdue. Uh, what's the status of this? We can make sure that everything's being completed on time. Um, but this Slack channel pretty much just notifies uh, the team of what's going on um, with our tech and if there is an issue, et cetera. Next thing, we have the two different divisions, right? So we have the advisor team and then we have the real estate division. So on the advisory team, we have anything that is needed for the sales team, right? So the demo decks, the discovery pitches, the payment processing links are all in here. They're bookmarked so that the team can access this. And this is pretty much the same setup we have on the real estate side. And this is just once again, where we communicate with the sales team. From there, we have money inbound. So let me actually show it on the real estate side because the mortgage team is still pretty new. So anytime there's a new lead, new appointment, new no-show, anything that can happen with the pipeline, it's all gonna sent, get sent in here. And then our pipeline efficiency manager, Diego, he's gonna make sure that the setting team is actively working on these leads and making sure that we're getting to them as quickly as possible, making sure that if there's a no-show that we're getting to rebook, all of that good stuff. So he's managing this entire channel and making sure that all this money that's inbound, this is all deals that could potentially be closed once again. That's why it's called money inbound is being handled properly so that we're maximizing our company's efficiency. Next, we have our client success interview channel. So anytime there's a new success interview, it's going to get dropped in here. Just like when we ring the bell, we want to highlight not just our sales team, but our client success team as well. So whenever they get a success interview, that honestly means that they did a great work helping that client, making sure that they were successful. So we highlight them, we post it in here, and this is also a great way for us to go ahead, take this, send that over to marketing, and we can blast this stuff out so that all of our future prospects can actually see all the success that we're having. Next, we have our money inbound email. Email. So any new marketing email response that we get is going to get sent through here. And this way, whenever someone responds to one of our emails, we're sending emails out every single day to our prospects, then we're automatically going to know the setters are going to know and the closers are going to know so that we can make sure that we're achieving speed to lead and we're getting on top of these leads as quickly as possible. So if someone is interested, we can actually make sure that we get the call book in with them. The next thing that we have is my CEO report. So we do OKRs every single quarter, right? So that means objective key results. And the CEO report is meant to hold the team accountable, but remind everyone what our focus is for this quarter. And we want to make sure that everyone is moving forward toward achieving their OKRs. It's basically just a fancy way of saying their quarterly goals. So we're asking the team a set of questions every single Friday. This will get posted and then they're going to break down what they did to achieve their OK to get closer to achieving their OKRs, what they may be struggling with. And this is a way for all the managers uh, and myself and Matt on the executive team to make sure that the team is moving in the right direction. We're doing everything that we need to do in order to actually achieve what we're trying to achieve for that quarter. Next, we have our EODs. So every single day, our closers are gonna to respond to the end of day report. So it's gonna get automatically sent the template and then the closers will drop basically what happened at the end of their day and uh, what's going on. I can go ahead and review that. I can take a look at that and I can respond to them. Either myself or the sales manager can see if there's an issue going on. And this is kind of like qualitative feedback, right? There's quantitative feedback and there's qualitative feedback. So qualitative feedback is the stuff that the closers are going to tell me at the end of every single day. And I'm going to know like if they're feeling good or if they're having a lot of bad calls. 
versus waiting for an entire month to see what's going on with their KPIs, like their close rates, their offer rates, all of that stuff. I don't wanna wait a month to go ahead and, and get that information. So I wanna balance it by having this qualitative feedback versus quantitative feedback. So that's what this channel is for. Next, we have our sales leaderboard, right? So we're always updating this leaderboard so we can see which closers on top. If you're not on the leaderboard, then the closers are gonna kind of feel a certain type of way and they're super competitive, right? So they're gonna constantly wanna be on top of the leaderboard. They wanna get that crown and they wanna close the most deals and collect the most cash. And this leaderboard is just a fun way to kind of gamify things and keep things super competitive. We have the same thing for the setters as well. It's just called the setting leaderboard. So we'll skip that. And it's called, it's just called the setting leaderboard. So the setter gets the most close sets. Then we have an anti-buyer's remorse channel. So whenever we close a new client, then it's going to get sent in here. And the client success team's job is to call that client as quickly as possible to prevent buyer's remorse. We want to reassure them that we didn't just take their money and run. We want to make sure that they're getting their onboarding, that they're doing everything they need to do in order to be a successful client with us. So this channel is meant to notify the client success team whenever there's a new client. And it basically is a great way for the head of client success to make sure that the team is actually on top of it because they also have to throw in a check mark whenever they call that client and they actually do the APR. And we're able to time that and see how quickly the client came in versus how quickly they actually call them to once again hold everybody accountable and we're making sure that we're doing exactly what we need to do in order to accomplish our goal i'll see you guys in the next one and make sure you guys check out one of these videos that the youtube algorithm just hand selected for you